A once in a lifetime event is happening on Monday, April 14th, folks, and you can witness it. The first total lunar eclipse to be visible in New Mexico for the past several years will happen the same night that Mars is closest to Earth. Very exciting stuff. The New Mexico Museum of Natural History and Science invites you to join them in witnessing this. Here to talk more about this this morning is Jim Greenhouse, the Space Science Director over at the, uh, the museum, along with Liz Roberts, an educator at Hawks Aloft, uh, and a very big owl. Who is this? this Who is our friend? This is one of our education mm -hmm. uh, birds. I work at Hawks Aloft, and we're going to be there on Monday night. Mm -hmm. um, she is 18 years old. No kidding. All our birds have some kind of permanent disability. Mm -hmm. She has a radius ulna fracture, okay. which means that she cannot fly. Okay. Um, and uh, not being able to fly, she can't hunt and survive in the wild. So sure. instead, we use her as an education bird. We go into schools uh, throughout New Mexico and talk to children about wildlife, mm -hmm. not just birds, but different environmental things. Very try to cool get the stuff. So we can come out and meet meet her. Yep, you can no, come and meet her. Not really her. shake a claw or anything. No, so, no, no. Well, you let's don't want to talk do that. about this event. I'm. I, I got to say, I'm not a big science guy, but I love astronomy. Right. I, it just fascinates me. So tell us more about this event. Well, in addition, we've got lots of other things going on. Of course, you'll be able to see the moon in the sky mm -hmm. as it's going into the eclipse. The eclipse itself actually begins around midnight. Okay. Uh, the partial phase of the eclipse. Mm -hmm. The uh, total part of the eclipse. Um, reaches its midpoint about 1.45 a.m. Okay. So it's a late night event. Mm -hmm. um, we'll actually be opening at 10 o'clock so that people really? can come out and see Mars when it's uh, closest to the Earth okay. and the moon when it's before the eclipse. Uh, so the eclipse will begin about midnight, mm -hmm. then they can stay up until 2 o'clock in the morning and enjoy the, uh, the moon going into the uh, turning red like that. Uh -huh. And the reason the moon turns red is because it moves into the Earth's shadow. And the Earth's shadow is red because of uh, light going around the edges of the Earth and being refracted uh -huh. through the Earth's uh, atmosphere. Okay. So the shadow of the Earth turns that, turns that dark red color. Uh -huh. So you'll be able to see all that. Um, we also have moon rocks. Really? Okay. Uh, temporarily on loan, from, yeah, on loan mm -hmm. from NASA. And uh, they'll be able to, uh, just that night only, you'll be able to come and see the moon rocks. And mm -hmm. we've got different examples of the different kinds of rocks that you find on the moon. Mm -hmm. And uh, you'll get to learn about uh, how that makes the moon the different shades of gray that it is. Mm -hmm. um, the uh, Albuquerque Astronomical Society will be there with activities and telescopes. And uh, it'll be a great event for you to come in and enjoy this, like you said, once in a lifetime yeah. event. Yeah, that's, I, you know, that's really exciting. And I think it's, it's interesting you talk about how the, you know the moon turning red because of course we know Mars is the red planet. Right. So uh, we see there. What is Mars going to look like? To like say, will we be able to see it from the naked, you know, with the naked eye, or will you, we have telescopes that we you, can train on it? You can see it as a point of light. Mars mm -hmm. will appear as a point of light in the sky. Um, when you look at it through a telescope, you can see it at its best when it is closest to the Earth. Mm -hmm. So you'll be able to see some of the uh, dark and light red areas, and mm -hmm. you'll probably be able to see the North Pole of Mars no as well, kidding. which is looks like a it looks like the polar cap of the Earth yeah. basically. Um, wow, that so much able, detail through the sure, telescope. Yeah. That's incredible. And uh, those those kinds of details usually only show up when Mars is closer to the Earth. Saturn is also going to be visible in the sky, and people really? will love to look at Saturn through yeah. a telescope because you get to see the rings and the moons of that planet. That's so exciting. So this is a great chance to come out and spend the evening at the, the museum. You never get to do that, so this will be fun. Right. A fun and event, plus you get to meet an owl, and that's which is right. also really cool. And we've got dollar off coupons for adults okay. on the museum's website. Mm -hmm. um, so just uh, go to the website, and you can find out more about the event and get the coupon. Absolutely. And, of course, we will have links on our website at casa.com under the CASA blog if you want to come out and check out this lunar eclipse and see this absolutely magnificent animal here. Guys, thank you so much for coming in. I, I need to, I'll have to take a nap. <laughs> to to, we all to be able yeah. to do this, yeah, to get through it. You know, we're here kind of early in the morning, but this sounds like a lot of fun.